Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. It's me, Natic9000. Today, I'm here in my creative server, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to be building a fully operational, fully working vault, which only opens if you have the key card. As you can see, the key card is here, and the vault is closed. There's no way to open it until you have the key card. So, I'm gonna try a pickaxe. It's not gonna work. So, what we're gonna do is collect the key card scan the key card and the uh, voila so this was the world the world opened as soon as I scanned the key card and yeah I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build this so yeah hope you guys stick around so um, don't miss any instructions missing any instructions would destroy any part it, I have messed up this a lot of times because sometimes it doesn't actually work so yeah i'm just gonna show you guys how i actually build this <laughs> so i end game and return back now this is actually very simple to make i'm just gonna build a side here so that i can just tell you so i'm gonna build two floors now by the way these two floors are important okay i'm just gonna take that wall and start with our base this is gonna be our base okay so this is a simple little base no time to waste and so build these two ones okay so this is where you go to spawn and this is where the bolt door will be okay so how do you actually do this so what you gotta do is you gotta go to the galleries area and find where the shark prop gallery is okay so this one here don't select it don't press x just go on top of it and press the triangle button if you're going on pc and now i've already selected the items here i'm just going to select it again now the first item is you come to like first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth 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 line and one two three four five six seven eighth line the seventh object as you can see the scan thingy if you played fortnite br you know this is where you scan the key cards now you gotta add that to your quick bar so if you're playing on controller just press um triangle and now i will press the down arrow button and that saves it there then if you go down 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14th line and 7 8 9 10 so you have to get the 10 and 11 2 you have to get that also so i'm gonna do that again triangle once up arrow key triangle once right arrow key so i've got everything selected guys um yeah so now i'm gonna show you guys how to actually build it so we come back here to where we were so if this is the area first what we're gonna do is first we're actually gonna build the world space in i'm just gonna build one small world this is this world size i'm just gonna show you right now as you guys saw that world was a lot bigger but this world just for showing so i'm just gonna show you now um you equip your phone out and press l2 as you can see bottom left of my screen l2 is written so if you press L2, you can actually see your quick bar. So from there, I'm going to select my opened world and that will bring out this. And as you can see, you have to place this right between here. And remember to keep on grid snap 16. And as you place it, you have to be careful to leave a bit space there. As you can see, if you can actually see the space there. Um, I just broke the wall, so I'm just going to build a stronger wall so do that do that so you have to place it exactly in between them but also leave that space as you can see there right and don't let this actually exceed you can't let this exceed just like see if you can do a test like to make sure the height is proper just build a wall on top and after this uh, floor is done if it disappears then uh, you are done fine okay 
So now you see that space is there, that's for a specific reason. So now we're gonna open our closed world, which is correct. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna open our closed world and put it in the front, but this time without leaving that space we left. So, place it down, exactly that. Okay, so now there was no space left, as you can see, if you stand here. It's exactly on the white line as you can see these white lines you have to place them exactly on the white line okay so after you're done with that the two main parts of this is ready the open world and the closed world okay so now you come to this one okay so over here you just place as you, you remember we had took the scanning thing yeah this thing yeah you get this thing and just spawn it right around here yeah no way here will be perfect okay i'm just gonna delete the one which i spawned this one yeah okay so this one is perfect i use crit snap 16 you can use any crit snap for this but for the two worlds you have to remember to use crit snap 16 for both okay next what you've got to do is get this condition thingy if you actually open and go to consumables area not consumables devices area you can go down to the this area just below the bound so you can use the conditional item okay so this is the item you need so this is the only item you need i've already put one here with all the settings i'm going to be showing you the setting guys okay i'm just going to copy this here yeah just place it exactly in front of the computer screen okay so it looks like that and yeah so we've got that and just use all the same settings as you can see here so team is all can be used all color white interaction test scan key card display main icon locked uh, i use locked here so as you can see the world is locked so after we put that it will become unlocked then after that you can use default no no yeah show key item yes key items required one consume key items yes all key items required at once no enable that game start yes enable when receiving from no uh, no channel and then we go full down and you will see this activated transfer on channel one okay so that's what you need you have to remember to keep it on channel one and if it's on channel one it's fine okay next after that after you put all the settings like that um you need to copy these uh, if you have seen this thing it's called explosion device or something but i'm just going to show you this thing yeah you know you can get this thing in the same creative device area uh, just like around the top the top third one yeah that's the one you need this thing okay so you gotta need this and come back for some reason yeah so that's what one you need so i'm just gonna delete this and you get here and then you take that and place it down right in the center it won't actually become in the center so you can change grid snaps to two i think would work or you can just use no grid snaps i use 32 for this just place it in the center and as you can see it should be proper and it won't affect this uh, open wall so now copy all the settings the first setting which is health will be one display damage numbers off blast rate is 0 0.25 player damage zero ignore team for damage none Structure jam 5000, damage indestructible builds, yes, knock back off, as you can see, all this stuff. I'm just, you can slow down the video and pause if I'm going too fast. I'm just going to see the important stuff. Uh, proximity delay off, time for detonation off, um, play audio VFX off, range visualization, exposition, uh, radius, um, visible during games, no, that is important. Collision, blah blah blah, so far. And then you can go um, go down to play audio no remember that and explore when receiving from channel 1 so 
when we insert the key card here it will play here and i forgot to show you the settings did i show you the settings okay so these are the settings um for interaction test you can write scan key card and all that stuff yeah i'm pretty sure i showed you the settings these are the settings you can pause the video if you need to see the settings but yeah so now we need a player checkpoint and a um spawner so those two things are what we're gonna get that and that and that he's gonna go get some coins quickly okay. you gotta insert coins in this cause the required items coins so coins I'm just gonna it's called gold I'm pretty sure it's called gold I'm just gonna type it first gold and it's not there there's nothing called gold maybe it's in consumables yeah it's called gold it is in consumables and it's called gold so you just go here and drop a bit of gold in there and yeah so you remember you have to you also have to drop gold on this i have already dropped gold on this um all you have to do to drop gold on this is stand on top here and drop the gold i've already dropped so i don't want it to be extra amount so yeah if it comes like this it's working perfectly so now to put that to the test and I actually try it out um for that i'm gonna just break this one so that we don't spawn up here and so that game and hopefully this works <laughs> so we've got oh i forgot to put the um, sign which says key card remember to put the sign which says key card um and yeah we have to wait here for the key card to actually appear and then we've got the key card in our inventory as you can see this is the key card just get the key card go to the scan key card area and it doesn't work so that's a glitch sometimes yeah okay so now let's put it to the test so the key card's gonna be here i forgot about the thing you know the sign saying that this is a key card but it's gonna come up first yeah okay so we've got the key card with us and that is gold coins and now let's grab the key card and voila the world is opened and they've got these three chairs and yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoy hope you guys make a map or something with these veteran stuff you know like you know there's lots of possibilities like I don't know, use your mind and yeah. Yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, peace out.